Uh, we've been so successful with our first video on obesity and, uh, you know, their horrible habits, uh, which I know about because I'm obese. Uh, and we've been, we've had at least two people tell us how that helped them. So, naturally, we're going to do another one uh, because we're helping people. And today, I just want to uh, talk about how to criticize us fat people. That is a really, you know, very touchy uh, area that uh, probably needs a lot more enlightenment. Like, my sister was one of the ones that said she thought that these videos could help her because she's having a problem. She is a severe diabetic. I mean severe. She doesn't have a pancreas. It had to be taken out. So, I don't, uh, see that's a bothers my mind. I yes, well, I've never heard of anything like once that. Once in a while, and, well, believe me, she's ha not had it for 10 or 12 years. Yeah, but if somebody takes my liver out, it ain't gonna... <laughs> well, <laughs> people did phones. not know that anybody, you know, very few people have their pancreas out and survive, but it means that she has to take all these enzymes in order to digest her food as well as she has to, right now she's on, uh, the, top, the most insulin that she could possibly take, you know, an insulin pump. And I don't know what all, but for her to gain weight, now her doctor's been trying to get her to lose some weight, and re and she did swim. Oh, she was just a wonderful, uh, disciplined person to go out in uh, below the, uh, Oh, at least 10 degrees below zero to oh, swim. Give me yes, a to her local. Yes, all winter long she'd go down to the, the swimming. Yes, that would freeze That's eight thousand feet. That would freeze anybody's. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> and I never heard it would certainly freeze anything that I own probably. Well, in they had a heated swimming pool Ooh. all winter, Olympic size. She'd go down there and swim. Well, what mm. something happened to the swimming pool? I guess they failed to be able to heat it. <laughs> Yeah, pay it, the heating it got bills. ice on the top of it, right? <laughs> well, so, just jump on in there and break the ice, honey. They closed it. Oh, and when they closed it, she didn't get her exercise in the winter, you know, but she couldn't go outside in the 10 and 20 below zero. So, well, uh, doesn't everybody? <laughs> <laughs> so she gained weight and, oh, gained, actually gained, but she hadn't even gained any for a long time. So this was very alarming. She said, well, she finally got down but she needed very badly not to gain any more and she's still overweight so she needs to lose that and as I see it uh, my sister is a, a, a nearly perfect person uh, in the family she's regarded as the most perfect do you know why in you? the family because she's the only one that pays <laughs> she attention doesn't to your YouTube and reads your <laughs> blog, right? Yeah, she reads. Yes, she pays Nobody attention else reads to everybody. She's the only one that reads my blog regularly. Uh, she never loses her temper. She supports everyone. She never forgets anybody in the family. And she gets their birthday. She gets everything. So she is very loved by the family. And so naturally, she has. Well, it. It wouldn't even She's probably it wouldn't be surprising too, she? that she had come to almost believe of what other people were saying that she was perfect and <sighs> but nobody's perfect. I mean, if you look very hard you could find something that they and I do know her. She's married to a husband named Snarl and uh, <laughs> well that's the family name for him. <laughs> and he smokes. <laughs> He's just had a horrible time smoking and it's affected oh, his health God. and all that. Well, he tries to tell her she's not perfect. And he, she tries, and every time she he criticizes her, she gets mad. I know she does. It's hard for her to accept criticism. Oh, that's and, what the name of this one is? Yeah, yeah. Well, how, to, how, to fat. how do you criticize fat people, right? Well, she is fat. I mean, a little bit I overweight. Know. Not like me. Not not as bad as I am, but uh, she's. I think she's what 184 or five. Doctor wants her to get down to like 140, which is way. You know I'd that's like a to goal. Get down to 140. So she needs to lose what 40 pounds, 45 pounds. Well, I need to lose 100. So you know she's got to lose more than that. 
So, uh, well, I may, I, I'm not aiming for 100, maybe 80, uh, 60. Uh, <laughs> let's face it, you're not aiming for anything. <laughs> oh! So, anyway, uh, <laughs> I know. So I had to control phone. my temper. I, I, I would just fly off and hit know. him if I, I wasn't can. careful. <laughs> She's done it before. And but she on doesn't camera. have a temper. She's not inclined like me to hit her husband. She doesn't even <laughs> hit him at all. Her husband, so I don't. mean, or hit her companion. Yeah, right. Who's just sitting there. Uh, yeah. And uh, of course, I didn't hit some of my others because they would have knocked me down, and I wouldn't have got up if I'd hit them. That's right. <laughs> so, so I I love hitting you because you don't hit. I, you don't, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, oh. the difference between me and the other ones is that I can make a phone call and you're not going to be here. Tonight. Yeah, yeah right. right. But, I, you know, what I'm going to try to do is I don't uh, have to hit. help my oh, by sister. By the way, I always love your last name. King? Oh. No, Hit. Hit. Oh. Hit. Hit. <laughs> hit. Ooh, I like it, too. Ah, folks. Uh, nice. Yeah, my, my yeah, son, uh, my son uh, likes never that. Been a hit man. His nickname never is Hitman. Hitman. Hit when he was a basketball player. Hitman. But anyway, uh, I'm going to try to help my sister to take criticism. And by doing this, uh, you know, and I, I don't know how you... Get a person who's almost perfect to take criticism. That's perfect. really hard. Yes, yeah, she is. Oh, okay. uh, but I think the first thing a person needs to do when they're being criticized is just see it's good for you. It's good for you. Just learn to, to let them tell you and don't get mad. Try not to get angry. No matter what they say, even if they're snarling at you, it's very hard to take criticism when the person's snarling. <laughs> I think we got the See, he, down he gives me a lot of criticism, but he's smiling, so I've been able to handle <laughs> that. See, my first husband, uh, he started, when I started gaining weight, he started calling me fat ass. Oh, he could just put the twist. Well, fat ass. Well, that was very hard for me to take. And I, I didn't take so well because uh, he had a very bad temper. I couldn't turn around and call him names because, and he also had uh, serious addictions. He smoked. And when he drank, he wanted to kill people. Well, this is a big problem. And especially it's him. a big problem. So, <laughs> and, and he, I can take criticism from him better because when he gets drunk, he doesn't try to kill people, especially me, you know. So I just couldn't take criticism from my husband that uh, they call me fat ass. <clears throat> and, uh, oh, don't fat ass, especially delivered in a very sarcastic, ugly tone. Uh, don't, don't, don't do that to your fat person. They, you know, they don't go like that. You know? That's true. So. <laughs> That's true. Now, They're this not. Is, see now, if I was involved with a woman who was a little overweight, I would not say fat ass. Because there's a real what? good chance you aren't going to get a lady. You said what? You said what? I said if uh, a woman who's a little overweight. Did you say that word? What? I don't know. Something about that fat ass. Did you actually let that cross your lips? <laughs> I'm allergic to that word. Okay. <laughs> how, about, how about chunky butt? <laughs> Yeah, delivered with a little smile. Chunky butt. Chunky butt is If there was a little <laughs> chunky butt. A little twinkle in the eye. Chunky butt, yeah. That's right. Chunky butt. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now yeah, try to think of some more, you know, cute names for, uh, for, for the, the fat person. <laughs> I never knew I had uh, a makeup figure like this. As, as far as I was concerned, you already know this. <laughs> My relationship with uh, <clears throat> women who are a little over uh, <laughs> weight. Uh, <I'd laughs> Be careful. Be careful. I know. <laughs> they had to have really big bazooms. <laughs> yeah. Which there was one of them that did. Incredible. Small waist, <laughs> big bazooms, big hips. And this woman probably produced another 25 kids. Mm. And she would never oh. been married, so you know. Well it doesn't hurt if you if you like big 
big boobs. You know, it doesn't hurt to compliment though. I did. I complimented them all on the time. her big boobs. You know, so she found something about it that was not too bad. You know, appealing, appealing, and uh, and I, you know, I really seriously. I mean, I've been complimented so much on my my boobs that. Uh, I, you know, I, I hate to lose weight. I might lose them. I mean, I know. I know. If I lose very much weight, I'm going to go down in this department. Is it worth it to keep the boobs? <laughs> don't don't <laughs> hit me on the camera. Up. That's, that's a well, funny it woman. Is, it's, it's a there, funny it, woman. That's all I can tell you. She's funny. You know what I mean? But she gets a tendency to get violent as soon as the camera goes off. See this guy over here, folks? It's a barrier. I don't really see it anymore. Well, there is there is fat women that do have trouble giving up their beautiful boobs. They, you know, well, that's usually get one, thin because that's they're, usually they're one of the down. first things that go. I know, I know, and it's uh, it just, every time I've uh, I've lost weight, I went down in boob size, and of course, if you got boob size, then you got great big butt, and. Uh, Thunder thighs, you know, you have to tell yourself that. Well now, big boobs on your case are going to go with that other stuff that you you don't like too well. Yes, oh, I, I hate my I hate my big fat legs. Oh. So I, you know, I try to think that uh, of what I'm going to gain. A little bit less weight in my legs, my butt, and my daughter, you know, she's naturally got quite a big butt and the minute she puts on weight, right Wait a in second. her Wait back. Wait a second now. Even when she's thin, she's got. So, uh, well, don't they call that rambunctious or something? <laughs> well, there is. There is. Rambunctious. Uh, well, there's just endless, endless uh, things to consider when you're handling your fat person. I mean, you have a fat person, so you have to think of a lot of different ways to. <laughs> uh, you, look how tactful I've been about his drinking. <laughs> it's right. Folks, for five years, I must have at least 150 DVDs on each time he comes down and berates me. Well, I, that was See, back in the never, old days. Yeah, yeah, before we got on YouTube. Now, now you just do it on YouTube. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, about. but I learned to be right with a smile. I know. Make him uh, kind of laugh. You know, I, when I first started, I just braided him seriously, you know. Didn't I? I? I was really, really like super snark. I, I did. You know, I'd lose my temper about drinking. That was one Does POS mean anything yeah, to you? Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me he, explain what POS means. He's seen me a few times right? here go over the top. Uh, kind of insane on this subject. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I can get really wound up when uh, to a, a drinker if I'm not careful. Well, I can that, hurt him. I can hurt him. Well, I've <laughs> seen that coming from me for a long time, right? Say, <laughs> so put the coffee down. Put the oh, coffee put the down. Coffee down. <laughs> but, but you don't want to do that. You don't want to hurt him. You want to get this side of it so that they'll be encouraged to get hold of themselves. They won't be thinking, oh, no, you called me names. You know, I mean, there was no way in hell that I was going to do much with my weight with my husband, beat me up when he was drunk, and call me fat ass. You know, it just, he, he did not succeed in getting me to, helping me. <laughs> but you, you've helped me a lot. I mean, I think I gained a, lost a few few ounces when I'm <laughs> And he's, he's, well, it's like Christine he's, uh, said, don't offer a woman food. <laughs> I've learned this, folks. I did not know that you should not offer a woman food, you know. It's really He hasn't bad, learned too know. well. He's got three containers of oh, ice God. cream. So he yeah, hasn't learned a lot. He has not cheese. learned a lot. He, he shouldn't really do that, but he likes ice cream himself, so 
I guess. So he's got three containers no, now. No, I don't. I, I never eat ice cream. I just keep it down here to tempt For me, to tempt me. See, he's not taking that serious. He has not controlled himself when it comes to buying ice cream, putting it up there to tempt me. And I've told him many times, but he's determined. So if, you know, it may be hard for you, buy the woman flowers. He buys me a lot of flowers, and that doesn't get me fat. I like that. So, uh... Don't buy, you know, I would never think of buying him a bottle of booze. Never, never. Have I ever bought you a bottle? He made me yes, buy him one. once. <laughs> he gave me $20, said, go buy vodka. I said, no. I, I, he finally talked me into it. I went and bought the ch most expensive vodka <laughs> in the whole store. I said, well, at least you won't eat that rock, drink that rock gut stuff. You will not die with this vodka. <laughs> and he, he never forgot that. I <laughs> so, <know. laughs> And he doesn't close, let me buy his That's as close to his enabling we've ever gotten, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Boy, I'll tell you what. Right. If you're an enabler, I'm sure shit out of luck, right? You know? Oh, he's bought me more flowers this last year. I've been in heaven. So if he could just get the idea that he doesn't buy me ice cream, he buys me flowers. He doesn't buy me chili Le bon. That's another no-no, no-no. Big, big potato chips is the worst horriblest thing you could ever buy an overweight person because they're all fat and people overweight people are all in always addicted to potato chips they can bring in sacks of potato chips for their groceries i did not know that <laughs> you I didn't did know not it know that you know, potato I, chips are the main staple of fat people's diet. I didn't know. Well, I'm potato you, chips, ice cream. The, the problem is, is that um, <laughs> most of the women that I've known over my lifetime have. They can take a potato chip or leave it. Yeah, that's right. Not a not an overweight person. If you give them potato chips, they'll eat the whole bag. I mean, half of it at least. One sitting. He seen me do it. I didn't. No, I didn't. Well. It wasn't a pretty sight. <laughs> yeah, he was oh amazed was that I could eat uh, that many potato chips at one sitting. And the funny thing about it was I said, can I have some? And she said, no. <laughs> no. There's not enough for you. <laughs> you know? oh, I love chili lemon. I love them. I love them. You know, you will see that fat people, they just salivate at the thought of certain foods. I know. They love their food. I, you know, I got that way on the farm. I did. You know, us people back on the farm, we just, oh, this is so good. Oh, this whipped cream. Oh, whipped cream. That was a real butter. Oh, this is so delicious. So wonderful. I'm a person that if I like food, I love it. I absolutely, I just, you, you know. know what, you know what the situation <laughs> is? There are, there are some people like you and some people like me. Now, I... Eat to live, right? Yes. You live to eat. See, that's the difference. Most people who are thin. I have to eat so I can be alive, but you They eat thin. to live. But us people who gain weight, we love to eat. We live to eat. We think about those delicious, delicious. That's what I mean. Delicious. Cheese. I'm addicted to cheese. Why does he have a belt once in a while? You never know. And he buys cheese. He can leave it in his oh, cupboard. God. It will supply him. But I'm addicted to cheese. If I ever start on cheese, I can eat it, you know, a good half pound. Just, I keep nibbling, nibbling. Yeah, the nibbling. problem is, is eat, eat, I, I eat, just eat. bought one of a pound of extra, God. extra sharp cheddar. Oh, this ought to, this ought to roll <laughs> your pants well, down. Well, try, right you there. know, try to keep it from, uh, I know that I shouldn't have cheese in the house. And how I got addicted to that, my mother used to have a great big, she had a store. She'd keep a great big, uh, great, a uh, huge horn, horn of cheddar, sharp cheese, the most delicious cheese that you have ever tasted. And I'd go in the store, cut me off a piece of sharp cheddar cheese, and now see, I'm pretty so I'm for this, right? I, I knew she was going to come around sooner or later. She says, I like sharp cheddar cheese. Well, I happen to like sharp cheddar cheese. <laughs> I have never gotten drunk on sharp cheddar cheese before, right? But you know what? I love 
sex too. And he is cruel, oh, mean. Geez. He has got alcohol. He does not do bodies. And I love, I love everything about sex. And so since I've been with him, I got none, none. I try to <laughs> convince him. Give it up and maybe a little bit of that will you would please, come back. Will you please not help me? <laughs> okay. He just can't understand it, what he's depriving me of. Sex will not put on weight. Well, it would be better for me. Now, obviously, I don't understand that. <laughs> that sounds pretty ironic because... <laughs> There's something wrong with him. Weren't you having, Alcohol is probably weren't you having sex dull. with your first husband? Dull. Weren't there dull two kids test. involved? Uh-huh. Two kids were involved. But, I, you know, I just loved everything about it. Oh, uh, Just what's delicious. This got, what's, this, what's this got to do with and, uh, cr well, criticizing, it is, criticizing fat you people? You, get, you put healthy, normal activities for them that they love instead of the forbidden food, which they have gone way overboard on. They have eaten way too much. In other words, for me, I've been deprived. I have not had enough mm. sex, but I've had way too much food. No, Can't I you get it. get it? Yes, I get it. Okay. Okay. That's it for today. Bye. No, Time wait for... a minute. I'm not done. Well, oh. I just finally got it. I, I can <laughs> see what your problem is, is that you are sexually deprived Oh, uh, exactly. Somewhere, somewhere after, at the five years old, you know, the intent, and you find out what it I was. I married with to this guy who, who, who was to, me. Who was wanting to kill you on a regular <laughs> basis, <laughs> yes. eat the crap out of you, and then decided that, my God, you, uh, you, you are getting a little, and I'm not going to say that word, <laughs> you know, you're getting a little chubby in the chunkies there, you know, and then, right, and then, right. so therefore, <laughs> well, it, when, you know, when he got drunk and tried to have sex, you, you might die because he would get mad, it, you know. So having sex was hazardous with him when he was <laughs> drinking. I wouldn't even think about mm. having sex with a guy when he was drinking either. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, but see, you know, I tried to convince him that he deprives a woman of sexual, uh, even uh, stroking, petting, all the things that he could do uh, has no interest in him. Right, because he, yes, exactly, exactly. But no, he's not able Don't. to actually do this satisfactorily because of that. Ah. So I try to convince him that he cannot do a good job of yes, but it's, stroking, it's not, petting, not, not if right, he's drinking. Think about this. Maybe your first husband figured that one out all by himself. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, he just wouldn't give up alcohol. No, it was, well, maybe he figured uh, that. He was very addicted to it, and uh, so it was hazardous all during our marriage for him. To, every time we got drinking, well, you didn't know whether you were going to get beat up or not. Well, so, for Christ's sake, you, you jumped on his body all the time, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, well, uh, when he was sober, then he went dangerous, but when he was drinking, it was more like when he wanted to, he'd always want to engage. And, uh, really? Engage it, yeah. Well, most guys do. You go to the dance, they drink, and then you come home and you have sex. And this was always hazardous uh, with him. So that when sounds, uh, that, that doesn't make any sense to me. If he was drinking, he was he was apt to lose his temper, get very uh, violent, and uh, so that can interfere with your sex life a lot. <laughs> and you can be you uh, interfere with your sex life. I'd have a to lot. leave him, and Holy then I wouldn't crap. get any. I would have to spend months away from him. I would, uh, when he'd get really bad, and you know, all during our marriage, I would leave, be leaving him. So, anyway, uh, sex, uh, sex is actually what is not food is a substitute for sex. If you eat it's too true. much food, it it's is. a substitute for that sex. Is a, substitute. a bad. It's sex a, is the natural is the natural thing. It's the natural. Too much food is over, overkill of using food in place of sex. So how's your sex life? Think about that. Okay? Bye. Now, now wait a minute. <laughs> I'm a